It is, as I said, a real honor to present this award to J.B. Sapinozo, who has been a vital part of the campus LGBT community for close to a decade. It's been a few years now. He has served the LGBT studies program with diligence and distinction since before it was even officially a program, long before it was officially a program, as a matter of fact. He taught Women's Studies 298E, which was the precursor to our introduction to LGBT studies course in spring 2002, before the program gained its approval from the State Higher Education Com Commission in May of that year. His syllabus for that course was the model that we used for developing the syllabus for the permanent course when we took it through the approval process the following year. As he completed his PhD in women's studies, JV held teaching and administrative GA ships in LGBT studies. His teaching evaluations are full of praise for courses that are rigorous and demanding, but always welcoming of students, on, of, of students onto terrain that for some is unfamiliar and in some ways even scary. JV's students praise him for encouraging an open dialogue and for keeping them engaged with the material. One described JV as an amazing, inspiring instructor, adept at, give, at navigating class discussions and helping students to apply what they had learned. Outside the classroom, JV has often taken on work that was above and beyond the call of duty. He served as the graduate student representative on the faculty search conducted by the LGBT studies program in 2006 and 7, and involved himself fully in the tasks of screening nearly 200 applications, interviewing candidates, and offering input that was essential to the, to the eventual success of the search. JV's knowledge of the field and his perspicacious assessments of what different candidates might bring to our young program were enormously helpful to the search committee. He also served last year on the search committee for the associate director of LGBT equity. JV successfully defended his dissertation last summer and has served this year as acting assistant director of LGBT studies while I have been away on a long overdue and much needed sabbatical leave. I feel immense personal gratitude to him for the job he's done, not just of maintaining the program in my absence, but of helping to grow it and to develop its curriculum. On his own initiative and with little guidance from me, he developed a successful proposal for the new I courses being offered this semester, or for the new I course being offered this semester in LGBT studies, um, LGBT 289I, recognizing homophobia in the new millennium. He taught that course on an overload, and he also worked with Professor Rudy on the first study abroad course that's going to be offered um, this summer through LGBT studies, the Queer London course that I, that I mentioned before. He's also handled advising for the program, added new students into both the certificate and the minor tracks. While teaching courses and overseeing advising and curriculum development, he was also the lead organizer on the program's eighth lecture series, Bent Voices, Queer of Color in Interventions. This series is the program's marquee public event each year, and JV, working of course closely with Damien, um, put together an exceptional roster of speakers, um, uh, um, and also brilliantly managed the logistics of travel, event planning, and honoraria for four major events. He also succeeded in, ra in raising co-sponsorship funds from nine different units on campus to help defray the costs of the series. In short, he has excelled in every facet of his numerous jobs and demonstrated qualities of sensitivity and compassion that have made our community stronger and kinder. I'm pleased to honor JV as a champion today, but I'm even more pleased to tell you that I'm working hard to offer, his, uh, offer him something more than a trophy for his hard work and exceptional citizenship. Keep your fingers crossed and your mouths shut, boys and girls, but stay tuned for an announcement about JV's future role in the LGBT studies program. My hope is that he will be using his considerable skills and talents on our behalf for many years to come. Thank you, JV, and a hearty congratulations.
I just want to take this moment um, to say thank you. It's an honor to receive this award. It's always nice when our efforts and our actions are acknowledged and appreciated. And, and that's exactly what graduation is. So to the graduates, I hope you savor every moment that someone wants you to stand somewhere to take a picture of you in your regalia. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, one of my students said, you would make a great face, JV, for you know transgender activism and used me as final part of their final project. And I, I think that might have been trying to get points, but you know, still, I appreciated the sentiment. Um, one of the things I try to do with my students is instill the importance of individual responsibility and accountability, and say that individuals and our actions do matter, that we can make a difference. But just as equally true, um, is that there are, is power in numbers. So let me take this moment to acknowledge the community we've created in gathering here to celebrate the graduates. Like Luke mentioned, it's one of the largest graduating classes, and if you could stand where I'm standing, you would see how beautiful you all are. So thank you for all the students, for the staff, the faculty, the friends, and the family who have come out tonight. And thank you for all of you who continue to come together in a multitude of ways to work towards sexual justice for all. Last year, one graduate shared just how difficult a journey it was to graduation. And I'm sure that's just as true for some of you here today. So thank you to everyone who has let us know that we're not alone, but have the love and strength of community. <laughs>